Hello Rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our modern Amtrak train, and we're going to be building this Superliner coach car. And as you can see, it's very similar to the Superliner sleeper we did in the last video, but the interior is completely different. So let's get on with the build here. We'll begin with a dark oak stair for the coupler, and come down here and get it attached up. Then we'll put three polished black stone blocks coming up the middle behind it. Underneath that, we're going to put a full row of dark oak fence gates to be the airline. Then we're going to come up here, and on each side beside the coupler, we're going to put a dark oak fence. Then on the upper hitbox, on the side of the polished black stone, three smooth stone slabs on each side. Then we're going to put a light gray concrete on each end of this, and same thing over here. A light gray concrete on each side. Then we're going to put an upside down polish andesite stair here, and a polish andesite slab underneath it. Same thing here, an upside down stair, and a slab underneath it. Then we're going to come on this end, put a warp button here, and same thing on that other side. Then we'll do the first set of wheels, so skip a block down right in front of this and get netherite on each rail with an end rod for an axle. Then we're going to make a 3x3 three three of polished black stone blocks. Then netherite on each rail again and an end rod axle. An upside down polished deep slate stair facing this way on the sides of the wheels here and then facing the other way on the sides of these wheels here. Then we'll put a polished deep slate slab, three of them across the bottom middle here. Same thing on this side down here. Then we'll come on top here, fill this middle three with polished black stone so the gap's covered. And then we're going to run light gray concrete up the side to the front of the truck here. Same thing on that side. In front of this wheel, we're going to run a line of gray wool right down the rail and we're going to make it 22 blocks long in total. Once you have it 22 blocks long, come back up here, extend it out another two so it reaches across to the other rail and it's three blocks wide and bring that all the way down to the end of this here. Then we'll switch over to stone block, come up here on this outside edge, and run a full line of stone all the way up the side of this down to the end. We'll do the same thing on the other side. After that we'll do the next truck, so directly in front of this get a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then a 3x3 three three of polished black stone, and a netherite on each rail again with an end rod axle. Then upside down deep slate polished stairs here facing this way and upside down on each side here facing this way. Then three polished deep slate slabs across the bottom hip box on each side here. Then we're going to put three polished black stone across the top of the end and we'll run light gray concrete on the sides over the top of the truck. Then we'll take polished black stone, three of them sticking off this way, and three smooth stone slabs on the upper hip box on either side of that. Then light gray concrete on each of these four corners on each side. Then in this gap an upside down polished andesite stair and a polished andesite slab below it. Come on the end here in the middle, we're going to take out a dark oak stair to be the coupler. Get that stacked up delete the one we use for placement. Underneath it, we're going to put a row of dark oak fence gates up the middle going to the wheels in the end of the coupler. Then an upside down polished andesite stair there and a slab underneath it. Then we're going to put a dark oak fence on either side of the coupler and a warp button on either side of that. Then come around on top here and we're going to put another full row of stone on the outside edge going end to end, 
until the bottom of the car is boxed in here. Same thing over here, a full row of stone. Come down on the end, closest to the train here. We're gonna put two light gray concrete on either side. Then three upside down, outward facing deep slate tile stairs. Same thing over here. Then we're gonna do a smooth stone block, light gray concrete, another smooth stone. Then in front of that, a black stained glass pane. Then a light gray concrete, two black stained glass panes. Light gray concrete, another two black stained glass panes. Then four light gray concrete on each side. Then we'll knock out the block in front of it and we're gonna put a door on each side. Then we'll move down to this other end of the car and start from down here. So we're gonna start at the very end on each side, one light gray concrete. Then a deep slate tile wall. Then a smooth stone. Then two light gray concrete. Another smooth stone. Two light gray concrete. Then a black stained glass pane and bring light gray concrete from that window all the way down to this door. Same thing on the other side here. Then we'll swing down to the back. Put three light gray concrete across the end of this and open warp fence gates above those slabs. We'll do the same thing down at this end. So three light gray concrete across the end and open warp fence gates above those slabs. Then on the next layer, three light gray concrete across the end here. Then on this outside edge, end to end with a stone block. Then three light gray concrete across this end. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, end to end with a stone block. And I just realized we forgot to copy our vents and access doors up. So we'll come up here, knock out these three, upside down, deep slate tile stairs. Same thing over here. Then knock out above all these smooth stones and put smooth stone above it on this layer. And we gotta go down and do this end. So knock out above these four smooth stones. Smooth stone above it here. Same thing on that side. And knock out this one and this one in a deep slate tile wall. For the next layer, we'll put three light gray concrete across the end. And we'll do the same thing down at this end of the car. Then we're gonna put a full row of blue concrete going end to end on both sides of the car. Then for the next layer, on the end here, a door in the middle, and we'll go ahead and surround that door with light gray concrete. Come down here, do the same thing on this end. So a door in the middle, surround it with light gray concrete, right up and over the top. Then on the outside edges for the next layer, we're going to put a full row of brick end to end on each side. Then for the next layer, starting from the end, three light gray concrete, two stained glass panes. And we're just gonna keep alternating two black stained glass panes with a light gray concrete coming all the way down the side of the car here. It's kinda tedious, but keep it coming.
And when we get down here, three light gray on the end. Then we'll come over to this side and just copy that pattern exactly on this side. Next, we'll work on the ends of the cars here. So come in between here, an iron trap door underneath that door, then surround the door with a polished black stone wall, right up over it and up the other side. Then a redstone torch on each of these top light gray concrete blocks. We'll do the same thing at this end here. So redstone torches up there on each side, iron trap door in front of the door, surround the door with a polished black stone wall. Then we're going to take out a soul torch and we're going to come down here to the left hand side of the door and put a soul torch. On this side, it goes on the right hand side. Now we're going to work on the interior. So coming in from this side, we're going to spin around and we're going to work in between where the door and the window section is. Put two columns of four smooth stone right in front of this door. Then two columns of four right in front of that window. Then a column of three coming up here. Then we're gonna take warp planks right there. Two warp stairs coming up, just like that. And actually take that warp plank out, it needs to move down by one. Put it right there. Then a stair facing this way, turn and a stair facing this way. Then we'll close the trap door on the side of that top stair so there's some kind of railing on it. Then move over next to this door and we're gonna make two columns of three smooth stone as a little divider coming up. Then we'll move down to the end on this side of the car here. And we're gonna come all the way back in front of where those polished black stone blocks are. And we'll make a three by three of smooth stone coming up. And this is going to be a bathroom, so we'll put an end portal in here to be the toilet, a cauldron for a sink, fill it with water and hit it with light blue dye. Now we're going to make a quick banner, so get out a loom and come into it. We're going to use a light gray banner, light blue dye, and we're going to do this fade pattern. Then we're going to switch to white dye and put a white diagonal on it. Then we're going to switch to black dye and put a black border around it. Then we'll put that right there. That's going to be like the mirror. And go ahead and save this banner in your inventory. Then we're going to come over here, knock out this window, and we're going to move it one block to the side. So it's moved forward from the bathroom by one block on each side. Just like that. Then directly in front of it, we're going to frame in a doorway with smooth stone. Go ahead and put a door across that. Then we're going to come in here and we'll fill the rest of this bathroom floor with dark gray carpet so we can cover up that wheel set. You'll have to crouch to place it above that end rod. Then we'll move on out here. So that was the big handicap accessible bathroom. Now we're going to build the smaller regular bathrooms on this end of the car. So we're going to put one block forward from that window, two columns of smooth stone block, and another one in the middle. So we should have two two by two rooms here. And I'm just getting our supplies to make these bathrooms. So in each one we'll put an end portal for a toilet, next to it a cauldron for a sink, fill it with water, hit it with light blue dye. Same thing here. Then we'll hang our mirror banner above the sink there. Then we'll put two smooth stone across the top of each of these bathrooms. We're going to turn around this way and put an iron door across the left hand side of each bathroom and a birch door across the right. This will make the wall so we can actually fit. Come in the bathroom crouch and hang a banner on that iron door so that there's not a window looking right into the bathroom. Same thing here. We have to use doors for our wall so we can actually fit down this hallway at this tiny scale. Then we're going to come down and work on this end. And this end just has seating. We'll 
we'll go ahead and turn around here. Put two warp stairs here for seats, skip forward, and keep doing that till you get right here. Then turn around, skip a block, in two stairs facing this way. Behind that, we'll make a 3x3 three three of smooth stone to block off the end of the car. Then we're going to put dark gray carpet around this to cover that wheel set. Then we're going to take out some torches to light up the bottom. Put a torch here and here, a torch above each of these window dividers, and same thing on this side. Then we'll put a torch here, a torch here. We're going to put a torch above that door. Then a torch in each of these bathrooms. Then one here and here. And one here and here to light this bathroom. Now come up above this floor. And on the same level as those dark blue concrete stripes. We're going to start filling it with gray wool. Going all the way across. And just bring this all the way down here. When we get to the stairs. We come right around them on this side here and then fill in the rest of the car on this level end to end with the dark gray wool. Now come down to the ends of the car on this floor and on each side we're going to stack two chests. Same thing over here. come down on this side and we'll do that by this door too so two chests here two chests here then a column of two smooth stone in front of it and two coming across the top like that same thing here then we got to go do that on this end so two smooth stone here two coming across the top same thing on that side then on this top outside edge on both sides we're gonna run a full row of stone end to end Then we'll come in here and we're going to work in this stair section over here. We're going to raise up all our smooth stone by one block. Then we'll put a temporary block over this hole. And we're going to close trap doors on here. Remove that temporary block so now that hole is covered by a railing. Then we can put two trap doors on each top of here to make it look nicer. Then we're going to start putting in our seats. So we're going to start at the very end. Turn around this way, skip a block back, put a seat. And just keep alternating a block of space with a seat on each side. We'll stop right here so you can get around those stairs. Then back here we skip one block back from the stairs and do the same thing all the way down. And if we've measured it out right, it should line directly up with the end here. Then we're going to take out a torch, put a torch here and here. And we're going to go all around the car and put a torch on top above where all of the window dividers are. So this car will light up nicely at night. We'll put two on this end here. Do the same thing. One above all of the window dividers on this side here. Then we're gonna come on the very top, put three stone across the end, and we're gonna bring that top middle three all the way down to the other end. Then on the top outside edge of the car, we're going to run a full line of outward facing stone stairs end to end on both sides. And there we have it folks. We've completed our super liner coach car. And feel free to copy or build in as many as you would like on your train. And stay tuned for more, because we still have one more Superliner type to do before this train is finished. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, real fans.